Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with another video for the new Boston. In this part of uh, the user login registration tutorial, um, we're going to be looking at registering a user because obviously what we've done is we've created our database um, here uh, and we've created our table and we've given it this data. So we've got Alex and Billy, we've got two records inside. Now, we will obviously want to let the user register for themselves. Uh, and this is going to be a simple process. We're not going to be talking about including uh, emailing uh, the user to tell them that, that they're registered. We're just going to be inserting the data through a form. So let's create a new file. And um, let's save this as register.php. Now the first thing that we want to do is obviously require in the files that we need. So we've got core.inc.php, which is important because what we're first of all doing is we are Oh no, sorry, uh, core, mm, don't think we need to include that. Yeah, we do, because we've got the logged in here. Yeah, okay. So, um, we've also got, um, no, that's fine, yep. So what we need to do is, in register.php, include this. We need to say, if not logged in, we need to register the user. Otherwise, if the user is logged in, so else logged in, you're already registered and logged in. So we're essentially just creating a check. Let's just put an escape character there to get rid of that, um, to make sure this is processed, this uh, single quotation mark. Um, we need to first of all check if the user's not logged in before we register them. So otherwise, we can say uh, register. Okay, so let's uh, go to our browser and test this. We're already logged in as Billy, so let's go to register.php and see what it says. Um, right, so if not, oh, sorry, I forgot the uh, parentheses on that there. So let's refresh. Oh no, okay. Oh, I see we've got else if there. Okay, so a couple of mistakes there on my part. Okay, so let's refresh. You're already registered and logged in. So now what happens if we go back to index.php and we click on the log out button. We've now logged out and so presented back with our, for our uh, login form. Let's go again to register.php and we're given the option to register. So let's um, escape out of PHP first of all to create our form. We don't want to be echoing our whole registration form because that could get too much um, data that we need to echo out. And it's going to start to look messy and it's going to slow our page down, particularly if we've got a lot of HTML to output. So I'm just going to end PHP there and start up a tag again there. So our if statement block here to here is still going to work even though we're escaping out and then back into PHP. So let's just demonstrate that by writing register form just as an example uh, let's refresh and you can see that even though we've escaped out of PHP um, we can still process um, HTML here so it's almost as if you were writing echo so let's begin to build our form up um, so we are creating the outline of our form then we'll fill in all the properties so the action we're going to be we're going to be going back to register.php so register.php and the method is going to be post because remember we're going to be sending quite a lot of data we don't want it to come up in the URL bar as get um, posted information so let's um, complete our form the necessary um, files we uh, sorry fields we need to include so uh, the first one will be username we can break down now, say input type equals text. In fact, we'll keep this on one line just to keep things simple. Uh, and name equals username. Okay, break down a couple of times. Obviously, you can use better HTML, make it look a lot better. Uh, maybe use some CSS to format the, um, the style of everything. But for now, I'm just keeping it very simple so we can focus on the PHP side of things. So password, we want to input type equals um, password. 
name equals password and we want to break down once again now what we need to do is we're going to duplicate this and we're going to say password let's just put our colon in there password again okay so we want to ask the user to enter a password again so i'm going to re i'm going to name this field password underscore again now what we want to do is um we want to ask for their first name and input type equals text name equals first name we want to break down a couple more and we want to ask for their surname the code on there so you can build the form how you like you don't need to do it like me and make it look you know messy or, or anything like that um, obviously the last element we need of this form is the input um, or the submit button rather so submit um, and we're going to say name or no not name value equals register okay so we've got a registration button there so let's go and preview our page let's ref refresh the page okay so we've got this basic form um, separated down doesn't look very nice but we're going to make it do its job so we are going to require all fields we've got username we've got password password again first name is surname now these are a few things that we need to do in this process we need to check if the username already exists in the database that's important because we don't want to register a user with the same username um, we need to check the password here against the password that's retyped to make sure it matches because obviously we can't see the password that we're typing in so if the user was to accidentally type say an extra character on the end they might not be able to immediately see that so they might not um, remember their password or know what their password is and we've got first name and surname we click register this data is transferred and it goes into the database okay so that's what we need to do